Hello, friends. Uh, I'll just do a very brief uh, snippet on the blood pressure targets in stroke. So maybe in the next two to three minutes. Uh, I'm sure most of the listeners would know there are a uh, lot of studies that are done with uh, regards to various targets in stroke. Uh, actually, we would divide them into two to three categories. One is a ischemic stroke. In ischemic, we would divide them into hyperacute and acute stroke and hemorrhagic stroke and secondary prevention. So these are the three categories. One would look at uh, BP controls, but there are a lot of studies in hemorrhagic stroke and there are a lot of studies in ischemic stroke to ascertain what are the blood pressure targets. So I'll, I'm just giving this as a snippet. So the regarding the studies in ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic, I would possibly do a separate video. So when we talk about primary prevention of stroke in hypertension, uh, so the recommendation is that uh, your blood pressure should be at least less than 140 by 90. But what is desirable if patient is tolerable and we are able to attain lower blood pressure, what is recommended and desirable is less than 130 by 80 to for the prevention, primary prevention of stroke in patients with hypertension. But less than 140 by 90 is mandatory. So when it comes to intracerebral hemorrhage, which we often see in intensive care, so the most consensus is your systolic blood pressure should be less than 140 in hemorrhagic stroke. So the, there is a sort of a homogeneity with regards to this consensus that we cannot afford to have more than 140 and our whole intent and aim should be to maintain less than 140. Uh, so I'll talk about the studies. There are around good landmark studies, five to six studies, comparing various blood pressures and how lowering it and keeping it less than 140 has an influence on favorable outcome. So this is important for all our ICU trainees. So in hyperacute stroke or hyperacute or acute stroke, which we say as stroke within 24 hours, so stroke after the stroke in a period of 24 hours. So I would say there were at least 20 studies looking at various blood pressure. The reason why there are so many studies in acute stroke is even here you can look into different dimensions. Acute stroke out of window period or stroke who have undergone thrombolysis and stroke who have undergone thrombectomy and blood pressure targets are little different and studies are to address in each of these category what are the sort of a blood pressure targets one should aim at. So I just put this pictorially. This is important for all the intensivists. If no procedure is done, if patient is out of the window period and if blood pressure is more than 220 by 120, so obviously, most of you would know that in ischemic stroke, we don't target to lower blood pressure. But if it is more than 220 to 120, one could aim at reducing the blood pressure by 15 to 25 percent. In hyperacute or acute stroke, who have not undergone any procedures. So this is for someone who is out of window period, try to reduce it to 15 to 25 percent. In someone who is thrombolyzed or whom you are planning for thrombolysis, pre-thrombolysis, you are intending to pre-thrombolyze. Uh, Pre-thrombolysis, the blood, sh blood pressure should be maintained less than 185 by 110. And after thrombolysis, our intent should be to less than, by, it's easy to remember, 185 by 110. Post-thrombolysis, try to get it below 180 by 105. You reduce by 5. So pre-thrombolysis, you expect the blood pressure or you, your desire should be to get the blood pressure to less than 185 by 110. After thrombolysis, it should be less than 180 by 105. In someone who has undergone thrombectomy, like where there are mechanical thrombectomy done, it is similar to post-thrombolysis. You need to have expected or a desired blood pressure should be less than 180 by 105. So these are the uh, accepted sort of a number, uh, which is the culmination of all the studies you can put together. There are a lot of studies. I'll talk in a separate video. This is just a take-home message. In pro So the number you need to remember is 180 5 by 110 pre thrombolysis, 180 by 105 post thrombolysis, and 180 divided by 105 in any patient who had undergone thrombectomy. If it is out of window period, less than 15 to 25 percent, if blood pressure is more than 220 systolic by 120. In subacute stroke, subacute stroke is similar to primary prevention in hypertension. Subacute, where more than 24 hours has lapsed. So one has to try to get the blood pressure to 140, 90 or less. And less than 130, 80, we do not have a robust evidence for both of these to say whether should we lower this much. 
but it is accepted that one should start lowering the blood pressure in subacute stroke. Maybe after 48 to 72 hours, you should try to lower the blood pressure to primary prevention level. So this is the evidence at this point of time. So this is just a snippet for all our training. So with regards to these studies, I will do a separate video. So again, request all my listeners to submit your valuable work to Journal of Acute Care and visit my website to re to this lecture. So thank you, friends.